and welcome back. It's about 644. You probably do not know his name, but millions of people have seen his work all over social media. It also covers walls throughout San Antonio, murals of murder victims, music makers, and more. In this week's edition of If These Walls Could Talk, Katrina Weber introduces us to an L.A. native who now calls Essay home. Each burst of paint is like a blast to the past for Colton Valentine. Shades of his former days. I grew up doing graffiti. He and the spray cans have since gone legit, making his mark on walls in a different way. Growing up, I wasn't encouraged to take it serious. Like even my mother was like, nah, like you should get a job first and then try to do that. Although the Los Angeles native still has a job now, he decided in 2017 to try his hand at murals. It's a lot of work. <laughs> you can't just jump in it and think you know like what you're doing. Also not easy for him at first was finding property owners to cooperate. I would ask them if I could paint murals on their walls and I think I got like 20 no's. Eventually it all came together, resulting in some high profile paintings, including the one along Interstate 10 of murder victim, Baby King Jay Davila. He also created the popular murals near downtown of the late rapper Nipsey Hussle and Cardi B, now covered with a pandemic required mask. His latest work is a tribute to a local artist. Valentine says out of all his work, these two paintings surprised him the most. He never imagined they'd go from this space to cyberspace, yet he says he's had reaction on the internet, even from celebrities. It's crazy. Some people have like come through and they're just like, yo, I drove four hours to come see this mural of Nipsey Hussle. It's all a reminder of just how far he has come, from tagging walls in secret to painting them for public viewing. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.